obviously before this. So when you sign your name opposite Ray Boring, is that always in the back of your mind? Uh, it's going to be now. Uh, you know, you kind of just got to take the opportunity as it comes. You know, I've been waiting for this a long time. There was no way I was going to say no. And, uh, you know, I probably won't say no again. I'll just be ready. And then one final one. Were you confident at the end that the judges were going to give you the decision? Yeah, I thought it was really close. Just being honest, I feel like it could have went either way. He was a really tough kid. Uh, you know, you have those fights sometimes. We're at the highest level. Hey, man. When you get kicked in the nuts multiple times. Which time? Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how do you keep yourself focused? Is there a point where you're like, oh, my God, come on? Uh, I just didn't, I didn't want him to take a break. Uh, I felt I could hear him breathing when we were up against the cage. Uh, the main thing was, man, I got to keep pushing. I got to keep pushing. I got to be in his face. I got to keep pushing the issue. I, I don't want him to rest. And that's really what got me through it. For you, though, like, how much did it physically hurt you? Yeah, it hurt. Uh, the first one hurt pretty bad. The second, it just kind of hit me, and I got my breath pretty close. Uh, the third one that actually put me on my butt for a minute. And there were two or three in there that didn't even get called. I mean, it was a lot against the fence, knees. We can watch it. He wanted to watch the replay. We can do that. Me and him can sit down together and watch the replay. It was uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> I know a lot of times coming in uh, to the UFC for, for the first time, there could be a lot of nerves and a lot of issues, maybe just a lot of pressure coming in. How did it feel for you walking in there with the, the silent arena? And did that help you going in there tonight? Uh, that might have been what it was. Uh, it just felt like a fight. I'm not going to say I wasn't nervous. We're all nervous. If anybody says they're not, they're lying. But uh, it wasn't, oh, man, I'm fighting for the UFC nervous. It was uh, just any kind of fight. If you're getting in a street fight, you're a little nervous. I just felt like fight nervous. Was there any – at any point were you worried that after you started to take a couple of the, uh, the, the groin strikes that the ref wasn't going to call and wasn't going to take a point? Was there any point where you were a little worried that it didn't happen at that point? I didn't think he was going to take a point. Uh, you know, I felt like he was a pretty good ref in there, but uh, – I think I had to do a little bit of complaining for it to actually get a little justice. You know, I, there was three or four that weren't even called. And uh, you obviously don't want to win like that. You know, I wish it didn't happen too. But, yeah, I wasn't sure if he was going to call anything or not. Well, now that you've got that in there, how, how soon? I know it's a little hard to kind of put the schedule out and stuff. But if you look towards the end of the year, are you hoping to get back in there? And what does 2021 look for you? Yeah, I definitely uh, – I'd love to fight one more time this year for sure. Uh, if they need somebody to step up, you know, I'm going to try to stay ready, rest a week or two. You know, I'm going to have a little knots here and there. But, yeah, I'm ready to go. Any, any particular list of people that uh, you want to get in there opposite? I know there was a couple of 35s here on the card with me. Uh, Cody Durden just got the call. I've tried to fight him a couple of times. Me and him can run it. If Ray Borg wants to show up, we can run it. Uh, I'm ready to go. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm ready to go, Scott!